Hi, this is Bob. Been working on a uh, VF1 VFO Heath kit. These are very old, made back in the 1950s. It's a single tube VFO. Used a 6AU6 tube, and over here was a OA2 voltage regulator. I made some changes to this. I wanted to show you what I had done. First of all, I added an LED right here. One of the reasons for doing that is to get rid of the heat of the pilot light bulb, which is right over the coils here. So there's a 330 ohm resistor here in series with the 6.3 volt filament wire that came up for the bulb. And then I put a little bypass capacitor there. The purpose of the bypass capacitor is basically just to hold the LED stable there and keep it where it belongs. I also cleaned all the controls and switches and lubricated all the shafts. The coils were found to be rather loose. When you wiggled the coil you could see movement right down here at the base of the coil where these little L brackets are. So to get rid of that, I put little pieces of perf board under there. They're about a sixteenth of an inch thick and tightened it up. I also noticed that the, the uh, lock washers and the ground lug were underneath those little brackets, uh, which made this whole coil sit up high and it was wiggling around. And that was a great source of drift because when I changed that it was so much better. So the lock washers and the ground lugs are now on top of those little mounting feet and then there's a piece of 1 16th inch thick perf board underneath there to make it more rigid when I tighten those down and then I also on those little mounting feet on the sides of the coil I put a bead of E6000 uh, glue that really good glue and uh, by golly those are rigid now so the stability increased tremendously when I did that. I rewired the whole thing with all new wires. The old wires in there that were just nothing but trash. I mean they were just falling apart. And so it's got all new wires in there. Also back here you may have noticed there was not a regulator tube plugged in. The regulator tube is not used. I have a TL873 high voltage integrated circuit regulator back here. I got some of these the other day and boy do they work good. The circuit is very simple. This is a 10,000 ohm pot here and that adjusts the voltage. I've got two six microfarad capacitors there, one on the input and one on the output. And the voltage regulation is terrific. I can set the voltage anywhere from two volts up to 150, no problem. It's got 160 volts coming in from the little power supply. It has a separate power supply over here that's the power supply there just a simple little thing and uh, does a real good job here is the circuit for that voltage regulator and not much to it at all now this is also available on the uh, on the internet this is Texas Instruments information but if you do a Google for uh, TL783 integrated circuit regulator, high voltage regulator, you will find the information will come up. So that's the deal there. Did I miss anything? Oh, I changed the tube, the oscillator tube, to a type 6AH6. So this is not a 6AU6 anymore. It's a 6AH6 that gives better stability. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, uh, thicker wires for the coil. The coils. And I was going to show you that. I'm flipping this thing all around here. Oh, over here. Over here I can show it. Now you can see right there, that red wire there is much thicker than what was in there before. It's like number 18 solid. So the wires that go up to the coils up here through that hole and attached to the switch are now number 18 solid insulated wire. And where did I get that? I had to put a ballast in, a light, at uh, the church the other day and I took the old ballast out and it had number 18 solid wire with insulation on it. I just cut some little pieces off that old ballast 
I threw it away here down in the basement and uh, that's what I used. And I used a different color so it would be a little easier to trace it out if I ever had to. Uh, but uh, that's, that made things much more rigid too for the VFO for stability. And that's other than that just did a realignment. Now I want to tell you uh, the first uh, run I did was with the OA2 regulator tube still in and uh, with all these changes and the OA2 in there I got a stability of 35 Hertz over a period of one hour. Now I, I, that was with a half an hour warm-up. I allowed the uh, frequency counter, the Heathkit frequency counter here to warm up for half an hour and I allowed the VFO to warm up for a half hour. Then I started a run for one hour and I checked it every 15 minutes and it drifted a total of 35 Hertz. Now that was with the OA2 pl tube plugged in here. I went to the solid state regulator and changed the 6AH6, put that in for the 6AU6 and did the run again after warming it up for another half an hour and I got a stability of 2 Hertz over a period of one hour. That's really good for the old VF1 VFO. So that's the project guys. Now I gotta hook it up to the uh, Harvey Wells TBS 50 and see how it works on there. So uh, that's the that's this project uh, for the uh, VFO here. 73's guys and good DX.